What's up, quizzers, and welcome back to KC Pop Quiz, the quiz show for kids where they get to show off how good they are at answering questions while I get to show off how good I am at reading. It's just like a pop quiz in school, except here you get stuff for knowing your stuff. And here is where you get to pick your stuff. The KC Pop Quiz Prize Gallery of Dreams. Now let's meet today's contestants. First, we have our returning champion, Miles. Miles, how has your life changed since you became a KC Pop Quiz returning champion? Um, well, it's changed a decent amount. <laughs> well, now I'm champion, and I kind of have to defend that title. All right, I like that reasoning. And your challenger today is Lily. Lily, welcome to KC Pop Quiz. Are you excited to be here? I'm so excited. All right, and I also hear you're a gymnast, is that correct? That is right, I'm a great gymnast and I just got back from gymnastics a few hours ago. And what have you chosen for your border today? I chose gymnasts to represent how I love gymnastics and flowers to represent how I love nature. All right, well hopefully after today's quiz you land on your feet. Our contestants will answer eight questions across three rounds of increasing difficulty and point value. But the losing contestant has to spend their points today while the winner gets to come back to pool their points for even sweeter prizes. This way, no one goes home empty handed. And no one goes home empty handed because as we like to point out, our contestants are already at home. Now, let's get started with your first round the Think Fast Round. Questions are worth 100 points and you will have two answer choices to choose from, but not a lot of time to do it. Are you ready to play KC Pop Quiz? Yeah. Then here is your first question. What is the word for a kind of exercise based on dancing to Latin American music? Is it A, Zumba, or B, Roomba? Let's see your answers in three, two, one. All right, you both went with A, and that is correct. Well done. Is Bilbo Baggins a character from A, Harry Potter, or B, Lord of the Rings? Now let's see your answers in three, two, one. You both went with Lord of the Rings, and that is correct. Well done. Now it's time for your third question. Is a waxing moon getting A, bigger, or B, smaller? Let's see your answers in three, two, one. So Lily, you went with A, bigger, while Miles, you chose B, smaller. The answer is bigger. So Lily, you just earned yourself another 100 points and the lead, congratulations. A waxing moon is getting bigger while a waning moon is getting smaller. True or false, there is a species of jellyfish known as Turritopsis dorni that is considered immortal. Let's reveal your answers in three, two, one. You both answered with true, and you are both correct. Well done. Lily, you are still in the lead with 400 points, while Miles is right behind you at 300. Now it's time for round two. This is the Think a Little Slower round. Now you'll have four answer choices to choose from and point values have doubled to 200 points. And here is your first question. In the song Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo, where does she drive through? A, the car wash, B, the suburbs, C, Burger King, or D, the West End? Let's see your answers in three, two, one. You both went with D, the West End. Unfortunately, you are both incorrect. The correct answer is that Olivia drove through the suburbs. I would sing you the exact lyric, but I don't feel like crying on national television right now. <laughs> what is football player Rob Gronkowski's nickname? Is it A, Gronk, B, Owski, C, The Toad, or D, The Fridge? Let's see those answers in three, two, one. You both chose A, Gronk, and you are both correct. 
congratulations. His nickname is Gronk. If you have arachnophobia, what do you have a fear of? Is it A, acne, B, arcades, C, chores, or D, spiders? Now let's see those answers in three, two, one. All right, you both went with D, spiders, and you are both correct. Well done. Although I think it's safe to say that most kids have a healthy fear of at least three out of four of those things. But now, the score sits with Lily at 800 points and Miles at 700. It all comes down to the infinity question, where either player can take the lead and win the game. Infinity glasses time. All right, Miles is prepared. The infinity question is worth 1,000 points as much as every single question hitherto combined. And you have to come up with the answer on your own. There are no answer choices to choose from. For 1,000 points, which city is home to a famous 605 foot high landmark called the Space Needle? For a quick hint, it is a city in America, not in outer space, despite what the question may suggest. And now, pens down in three, two, one. Miles, you currently have 700 points. We're gonna start with you. What city did you write down? New Jersey? And what made you choose New Jersey? Um, I was just trying to think, like, out of all the places that would have a landmark called the Space Needle, I feel like New Jersey might be one of them. All right, New Jersey is full of many mysteries. I can agree with you there. <laughs> and now let's see what Lily wrote. You wrote down Colorado. What made you choose Colorado? I have been to the Space Needle before, and I was pretty sure it was in Colorado. <laughs> OK, well, that's a pretty big advantage. Now, for 1,000 points, the correct answer is in Seattle. So unfortunately, neither of you got the correct answer. You actually both wrote states, not cities. So now this means Lily has the lead in 800 points. Congratulations, Lily. You are our returning champion. How are you feeling right now? Pretty good. Miles, you did a great job. Thank you for playing against me. Thank you. You did better. <laughs> <laughs> you both played a great game. So, Miles, now you have your total from today and your total from yesterday, in which you got a perfect score, meaning you have 2,700 points to spend in the KC Pop Up Pyramid. Let's head on over. Here we are. Miles, you have a very impressive 2,700 points at your disposal. What are you thinking of purchasing? OK. Um, all right, this is going to take away a majority of my points. OK. But I just want one, the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro. We love it. I'll take the scooter. The chocolate fountain, because it's chocolate fountain. Personal chocolate fountain, a brand new scooter. I guess I'll take the telescope. Wow, the telescope. The Amazon gift card. $25 Amazon card. Well, Miles, you are going to be the star of every party with all that stuff. And Lily, congratulations. You've done a phenomenal job, and you will be coming back tomorrow with 800 points banked. Thank you all for joining us. I've been your host, Casey Simpson, for Casey Pop Quiz on Cartoon Channel with a K. And we will K. See you next time with Lily as our returning champion.